Hey, guys, App Geeker right here. Welcome to our channel. Apple has continued to update iPhone and iOS every single year. And if you just switched to a new iPhone 14, iPhone 14 Pro or Pro Max, you may enjoy it and want to transfer your old stuffs altogether to the new phone. Transferring photos might be easy, however, music is another thing. So, how can you transfer music to your iPhone 14 easily? Maybe you have a nice music collection on your old iPhone, or have many tracks gathered on your laptop, and you want to enjoy all your favorite tunes in one place on your new iPhone 14. Luckily, in this video, we're gonna show you a few music transfer tools for iOS, and tell you how to transfer music to iPhone 14 step by step. All of them are tested and proven to work well with all iPhone 14 models, and we also cover an all-in on solution to help you transfer music to iPhone either from a computer or from another Apple device. Alright, let's get started right away. So, when we talk about transferring music to an iPhone 14, iTunes would always be the first option that comes in handy. Provided by Apple Official, it transfers songs, playlists, albums to your iPhone from your computer. However, iTunes works by syncing, that is to say, it will erase the existing music files on your iPhone 14, and replace all your tracks with the synced ones. But if your iTunes library holds all the music files that you have on your iPhone, or your iPhone 14 is brand new and has nothing added in music app, then everything will be fine. Otherwise, it may cause data loss. And in case iTunes is not your thing, feel free to fast forward to our next tool that allows for music transfer to iPhone without data erasing. Alright, if that's not what you worry about, then let's go through the iTunes transfer. It's now available for Windows and Mac OS 10.14 in the earlier. If you happen to use a later version of Mac OS, go to the Finder. The steps are almost the same, so that won't be a problem. Okay, firstly, open the iTunes app on your computer. In this iTunes library, add any song that you'd like to transfer to your iPhone. If they are not on your list, click File at the top, and select Add Files to Library. From the pop-up selector, go to your music location, and choose each music file you want. Once ready, now get your iPhone 14 or 14 Pro connected. If you're using it for the first time, follow the on-screen prompts on your iPhone 14 to trust the computer and input your screen passcode. Okay, then iTunes is gonna recognize your device. The phone icon shows up at the upper left corner. Click on it, and then go to the music from left sidebar. Right here, the sync music option is for your convenience. Check the checkbox, and under it, Choose to sync your entire iTunes music library, or just a selection of specific playlists and categories. You can also create a new playlist to hold all the tracks before this step. Alright, to start the transfer, hit the apply button at the bottom. It may take much time to complete the process when moving a large number of music files. When it's done, you can find every sync track in the music app on your new iPhone 14. And like I said, the previous songs on your iPhone will be totally replaced, so think twice before you proceed with iTunes. So, what if you do have your favorite songs added in your iPhone's music library, and you don't want to lose any of them? Is it possible to transfer music to a new iPhone 14 without wiping out the current content? If you have the same question, here's our top recommended solution to transfer music to iPhone 14 without data loss. The iPhone Data Transfer by AppGeeker. It basically lets you transfer music to iPhone 14, 14 Pro and Pro Max by simply clicking an add button. Yeah, nothing is gonna be deleted on your iPhone 14. It's a literally add music to your iPhone. You can make it on your PC or Mac and transfer music coming from your computer or other Apple devices, like your old iPhone or iPad, and even an iPod. Okay, here's how. You don't even need to learn, as its simple interface will guide you through. Firstly, install and open it on your Windows PC or Mac. It's compatible for both. I'll share the download link below this video. Or you can visit appgeeker.com to check the details. Then link your iPhone 14 to computer. When it's connected, you will see your iPhone's name at the top. Alright. If you want to transfer music to iPhone 14 from your computer, just simply head to music on the left side. 
And here in this music screen, you see all the tracks that your iPhone 14 has. And right now, I've just got two. So click the add icon at the top. And take your time to select the music files you want to transfer from computer to your iPhone 14. And that's it, just like you see. Here are the original two songs, and these are the newly added tracks, nothing lost. And if you'd like to transfer music from your old iPhone or iPad to your new iPhone 14, here's what to do. Keep your iPhone 14 connected, and plug the old iPhone or iPad into your computer as well. And at the top of screen, click your iPhone 14. You should see the newly connected device in the expanded menu, so select it to make it the source device. And now, every music file on the old Apple device will load and be present here. So, choose the individual tracks you want or select them all. And then, move your mouse to the phone icon at the top menu, and click. This is to export music from the current device to your iPhone 14. So, let the transfer complete. And after that, check it on your iPhone for sure. Okay, as you can see, the songs I add are all here on my iPhone now. And my original music library remains, it really does add, not replace. So if you're willing to transfer music and other files to your iPhone 14 from other sources like Windows, Mac, or iDevices, try this convenient tool to get rid of iTunes and prevent data loss. Okay, these are the two helpful ways that can transfer music to your iPhone 14, 14 Pro or 14 Pro Max. Both them add music to iPhone's music app directly, so that you can play them smoothly. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up, and we'll keep sharing tech tips for more users. Subscribe to our channel to catch up. If you have any questions, feel free to leave comments below. Thanks for watching.